Cleaning this truck is going to suck. Everything about it. Maybe they forgot. You think you'd want two on there, right? Welcome, we have the brand new Hummer EV in the shop today, and we are going to take a look at the fit in the finish and the surfaces on this vehicle. Uh, we've done this with several other vehicles where we'll just take a look at it and kind of nitpick it, examine it, and take a closer look so you can see if you're interested in maybe getting the Hummer EV, which is $115,000, by the way. So we're gonna look at the exterior surfaces, the wheels, the fitment. We'll look at the interior, and we'll see if there's any problems. We look at things way differently than most people. When I say we, us as detailers have a fine-tuned eye to find problems on vehicles so we're gonna pick it apart a little bit and the first thing that we saw on the hood we look at the finish of the paint but there is a couple of little sanding marks and what they do from the factory is oftentimes they're gonna denib the paint which means if there's a small particle or dust particle that gets into the clear coat of the car when they're painting it they're gonna denib it so they sand it down Oftentimes they sand it down and then they don't finish it out or polish it, they just denib it to where it's super flat, but then you have sandy marks that have to be polished out. So there was two right on the hood that we saw right away. So on the front, there is a lot of different things going on with this vehicle. You got the entire light bar up front here with the headlights integrated into the grill, which is awesome. You got the Hummer text right in there, each individual one. <laughs> it's pretty badass, I gotta tell you. GMC right on the grill here, so a couple different surfaces here. So you have the hood coming down into a clamshell a little bit, and then you got it going straight down here. So high impact area here, very flat, driving along the highway, rocks are just gonna smack into this. This is one big light, so they're not individual. The headlight is separated from this centerpiece here. But, you know, as protection experts, we look at what could possibly be damaged. So this is in here for paint protection film. We're gonna wrap it in, in a uh, thin polyurethane film that's gonna protect it from rock chips and impacts from the front too. I mean, you get a rock that hits this hard enough, it might crack. So putting a film over there will help save that a little bit and then prevent any chips from coming out of there. So this is painted, you got your bumper, and then you got a metallic black front bumper grill piece here. These are pretty sensitive to scratches and everything. You just see a lot more scratches on a darker color than the lighter color. So we're gonna cover all of this with paint protection film. On the bottom you have this just a, uh, a matte silver painted piece. And then you got the big toe hooks up here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Everything looks pretty good on the front here. Not seeing anything crazy. Nothing sticks out. Looks good. I'm gonna look for any missing paint. We've done a, a couple of these inspections where we actually found vehicles that were missing paint, which is insane. On the hood here, you got some inlets. This is a flat black versus this is a metallic black. And then you got your fender uh, trim pieces here that are also metallic black too. So metallic black and these are flat black. I wonder why they did these in flat black and they, they did these in metallic black. These two are very sensitive pieces to scratches and stuff. So even just wiping them or drying them, they tend to get swirled up pretty quickly. So that will also be covered up in PPF. You got your tri windshield wipers. You got three of them right there. And this little tiny windshield, not very big, uh, but it's pretty flat. But this being flat like Jeep windows too, they take a lot of impact. There are windshield films on the market right now that you can put over a windshield to help prevent the windshield from cracking. I know a lot of insurances will cover windshields pretty cheaply too. So as a detail, I look at some of the stuff that they've put together like this on the hood here is they got this individual pattern in here. And this is just a place for water to sit, which I don't like. You know, water can sit in these little 
ridges here and dirt. You can see it's dirtier than most of the other parts of the car. Um, that's hard to clean, hard to polish. It does look cool, the pattern, the texture of it, but as a detailer, I look at that and I'm like, why would you do that? But fitment looks really good on all these pieces. Nice, tight, no leaks. It looks very even on both sides. Nice job, GMC. Coming to the driver's side, we have the side mirror. Looks pretty good. You got the two different finishes. You got the flat black piano trim. I don't know much about this vehicle, honestly, so. I know there was issues originally when this came out last year or like a year and a half ago, it seems, but it's here now. Paint looks really good. From what I can tell, it is pretty dirty. Um, wheel looks pretty good too. So you got a gloss black wheel with uh, a little bit of exposed metal there, which is probably clear coated. It's not bare metal, but you got that contrast. Coming up here, you got the step up. It looks like it goes down, but I don't know if it goes down. It's kind of a weird looking step up here. I don't like it because it doesn't look very easy to wash. So on the bottom rocker panel here, you have the metallic black trim pieces, and then you got this step up bar, which is plastic on the top, metal frame. Certainly looks cool, but from a perspective of washing, taking care of it, maintaining it, I hate it. I can imagine us doing car washes and being out there and toweling each individual indent there. It's gonna take forever. I don't like it. Yeah, coming up, you can see it has already have some kick marks, you know, so it must, like, as soon as you get in here, you know, you're gonna step up and you're gonna kick that, so that's gonna be kicked quite a bit. And that's pretty hard to put film on, too. It's not like you're gonna put film in between there, so that's gonna get destroyed very quickly. Palmer EV badge. Again, it's pretty dirty, so I don't know if I'm gonna find any dust nibs or anything like that. But fitment looks good. Everything looks nice and even. Everything looks like it shuts well. Not a whole lot to complain about, actually, except the price, $115,000. Ah, that is cool, look at that. That's an American flag. That is awesome, it's textured, so the stars are actually textured. It's not gonna be easy to clean, but that's a cool touch there. So frameless windows that we have, you open up the door here. You don't have any frame on the window. I'm trying to look for something wrong. I don't see anything. So you have the rubber trim here into the gloss black trim. So the rubber window seals. All the gaps look pretty good on the window, on the side, on the doors. So you got your tonneau cover. I don't know if this is automatic. It kind of looks automatic, doesn't it? And you got two buttons at top here. So this first one is going to just uh, take this little one down. So if you just need to put something in there. You don't need to pull the entire tailgate down. That's kind of nice. Just put something back there. Here we go. Let's roll. Or if you want to put the whole tailgate down, press that big button. Comes on down. What's inside here? Oh, what? <laughs> they have speakers. They have little kickers here. Little kicker tweeter speakers for camping outside, hanging out, tailgating. That's really cool. You got a USB port. Uh, looks like you got a, an auxiliary port to actually plug right into there. That's okay, cool. Okay, let's figure this out. So open the big one first, and then open the little one. Yes. And then you can open this. <laughs> this is where it charges, right in the back. You open that up, just a push. Functional, works. Gaps are all right, closes all right. Can't say that about all EVs. I mean, there's just so many different cracks and crevices and surfaces and little things. You got like inside the brake light here, you actually have like the Hummer logo inside there. They took a lot of time to design this. I mean, look at this tail light. 
you have inside of it all kinds of different patterns in there and then you have uh, two different metals. You have like a black brushed aluminum and then you have like an actual silver aluminum brushed in there. Impressive, it looks really good. It comes to the side here so you can see the actual brake light from the side of the vehicle and then you have another little brake light there. So I can't find anything wrong with it. <laughs> These wheels, you can see the lugs obviously in the center but on the outside of the wheel within the spokes. Like, what is this? It looks like a little key would go in there. You turn it and it does something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. If uh, you know what this is or if it does anything, let me know. But there's just so much to it, right? Cleaning this truck is going to suck. Everything about it. All the individual little pieces, the front grille, these wheels, like this is not going to be fun to clean. Getting inside that barrel, I mean, you have all these little different areas, all these different lug nuts inside there. It's just a very, very complicated design to be able to clean around. So if I have anything bad to say right now, that's that. I like this. So you have this hard plastic piece under there because you're obviously gonna get some kickback from the rocks under there. So that's pretty cool that they did that. Moving on to the back, the black trim. So this is uh, interesting. You've all seen like the avalanche trucks with the black trim that seems to fade really, really quickly. You know, how is this black trim gonna hold up? I think the best thing to do is ceramic coat it, protect it right from the beginning. But we'll see in a few years how that black trim holds up to the sun, to the fading, to everything else. The back, all right, you have the back tailgate. Open it up, you have the reverse light back here on the top. The Hummer logo uh, right on the back. Badges, silver with the EV, which is the gloss black, and then the GMC logo in the right hand bottom corner there. Backup cam right there, integrated into the tailgate. Very flat, so back bumper doesn't protrude out too much there. You got some sensors, got a couple turn signals probably on the bottom there. Hitch, everything to connect there. You got one big giant tow hook back here, just on the left driver's side, nothing on the right hand side. It looks like they have a spot for it, but they just didn't put it there. Why wouldn't they put one there? Maybe they forgot. You think you'd want two on there, right? All right, coming to the passenger side, you know, maybe, uh, you know, the exterior is pretty good. We're going to get into the interior in a minute here. Maybe there's more to talk about in there. That looks good. That looks good. I mean, everything is, the fitment is great. It is really, really, really good. All the trim pieces, nothing is loose. It's really good. I'm super, super impressed. I mean, the fitment that you have on all these trim pieces is perfect. There's no gaps at all. I'm surprised <laughs> because a lot of the vehicles that we look at, there's just gap issues, there's fitment issues, there's paint issues, there's so much crap going on. They did a really good job with this. I'm impressed. Coming into the inside, you can see there is no carpet in this vehicle. Uh, it's all rubber and then it has rubber mats in here and there's several inserts of the rubber mats that can be taken up and cleaned. Taking a look at the door, look at the speakers. What is that? It's like a trail map on the speakers. Bose speakers inside the doors. A lot of different materials out here. So in the door, this is a textured perforated vinyl here, right inside there, and then a hard plastic in the center with the perforated vinyl on the outside, the Hummer EV logo imprinted. So there's a couple different places that you have this gold metallic trim. This is different. I wonder if this is um, an option. So gold metallic trim on the inlays, on the door here, on all the air vents, in the center console, outside of this screen here. It's this kind of like bronze type of gold uh, trim, which is an awesome accent. You can remove the entire roof and have this center brace in there, but uh, that's cool. I like that. I want to take them off now. So, like that. Very easy. Oh, that one's not easy. Oh. So we have, uh, yeah, two, just, just comes right up. So you have quad T-tops, which is awesome. And then you have the center brace here, so you can take those all off if it's a nice day, cruise around. Everything looks good. It looks nice and tight, nothing's loose. Last thing you want is to have a bunch of rattles. You're gonna hear a lot of road noise on this thing too. It's cause it's got uh, those big knobby tires, but you don't want any rattles. So you got a perforated leather seat here. You got leather in the middle that it, it seems, but on the outside, these bolsters are the plastic. 
they're the textured vinyl. Same thing on the doors here is on the bolsters on the top and the bottom, and then a leather perforated inlet on the seat. Again, with the, the bronze or the gold inlet trim piece here, the Hummer EV logo, right up to some more of that perforated vinyl into a leather headrest. I'm liking this. Anybody got $115,000 I can borrow? Okay, getting into the driver's seat. So, dual screen monitors. You have your screen right in front of you, and then you have the accessories with the radio and everything else. Lots of different buttons here. The details in this, I mean, there's just details everywhere. I don't even know where to start because there's a lot to look at. So let's just start with the steering wheel. On the top of the steering wheel, you have this inlay or something. I mean, like, so when I was driving it, so this, turns red, blue, and green. I don't know what those colors mean yet, but but that's for something. There's a lot of different noises that are happening in here. In the steering wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel. Inside you have the Hummer logo again, Hummer EV, a couple times within the steering wheel. And then you have a lot of control buttons on the outside and the top has this um, inlet light. And then you got another indicator here in the center here. So lots of different, and then I think you believe you'd even have a heads up display here a little bit too. So um, there's a lot going on. A lot of different textures, a lot of different little details. Look at this little detail in the bottom there, you know, just in there. And then you have the bronze trimming in here. And uh, again, just a lot of different surfaces. Like this, this is just all these little fins here. <laughs> these fins are gonna collect dust, collect dirt, collect crumbs. And that's gonna be a pain in the butt to clean every time you clean this. So this is, uh, while it's a very cool truck, it's gonna be probably the hardest vehicle to <laughs> maintain and keep clean. It's crazy how much little tiny detail in areas. This is why they call it detailing. Look at all this detailing here. I mean, cleaning this stuff is gonna be a pain. The ass. All right, up on the top here, so you have a vent for the back, uh, back window there, and then all uh, goes up and down, I guess. And then you have your OnStar stuff, you have max view release into the navigation screen up here, so. Man, there's so many buttons. Each one of these is a little toggle switch. Toggle switch, toggle switch, toggle switch, toggle switch, toggle switch, all the way to the outside. Wow, that is a lot of toggle switches. So USB, USC charger, you have wireless charging. Put your phone right there. Oh, I like that. So let's see, does the phone fit? So I have, yep, fits right inside here. That's perfect. You can take a look at it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be looking at your phone while you're driving though. The gear shifter right in the middle there. Open up the cup holders. So you got a pair of cup holders in there. And then you got an adjuster for your different types of modes right there in the center console. Lots of storage inside that center console there. Everything seems to be built really nice. I mean, I'm impressed. I really am. You know, the original Hummers, when you sat in them, the passengers seemed like they were a mile and a half away. So this is obviously much more cozy. I wonder, you know, what the size is compared to the original Hummer. I don't know much about the Hummer. I wish I was knowledgeable about the Hummer. I watched Doug DeMero for that, or Savage Geese. All right, let's look at the backs. Hard plastic, seats look good. Speakers in the back. Uh, rear temperature controls, climate control. Oh, you got a 110 plug-in back here, that's nice. Chargers back there for your passengers. Back seat here has this little pull-out tab. Uh, looks like you have just some storage back there. It doesn't even look like it goes to um, the rear. Let's see, let's pull this down. Can I pull that? Why is that there? It does nothing. I don't think that goes down. This goes up. So underneath here, you got your sub, your Bose sub. It sits right there. Again, I'm looking for problems and I don't really see anything. I mean, the trim covers nicely. Everything fits very well. Everything seems to work properly. You got all these little tiny, I mean, the logo. I mean, how many times is there a logo imprinted into this vehicle? I mean, we could probably count it. I bet it's near 50 or 60. People are always interested in the key. So this is a dealership car, so it's 
still for sale probably. Just a regular key fob. Of course, this has Hummer on it. All right, take a look at the front area. See how much room is in there. Use the key fob, press it twice. Open it up. All right, not bad. You got lots of room in there. I mean, it is a truck, so you got the back to load stuff in. This is really unnecessary, but if you wanted to put something in there, you can definitely do that. See all the acorns and all the leaves and everything. That looks like it's, uh, I mean, you're gonna have to clean that up every time. Every time you wash it, dry this area, dry all that area. Not bad, Hummer. Not bad. It's a little tough to close. That is the new GMC Hummer EV. I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, if you go back and look at some of our other videos on some previous reviews we've done, uh, similar fashion to this one, uh, you'll see that most of the vehicles aren't this well put together. So congratulations, GMC. Very happy. Um, now I just need somebody to lend me $115,000 so I can buy one of these for myself. Thanks for watching. See you later.